today we're going to go through some definitions. In geometry, we have a lot of definitions and theorems that we have to kind of make sure that we understand, and then we'll use some logic to play around with those. But first, we've got to define them. And there's actually some terms that are called undefined terms, which really seems really strange to be defining undefined terms. We'll talk about what that means. So basically, the terms point, line, and plane are not formally defined, but there's an agreement of what they mean. So we don't have like a technical definition, but we all agree what a point is, a line is, and a plane. And we're going to talk about that right now. So point is essentially just a dot. Even though it technically takes up space on the page, it really has no dimension. You use just a little dot to draw it, and you name it with a letter. You might name it as letter A. And the way you'd write that if you're talking about it in a sentence, you'd say point A. And then let's talk about a line. So a line has one dimension. It's going to be flat like it's on a piece of paper, right? And you want to use a line with arrowheads to draw it. The arrowheads represent that it goes on forever. And a line in geometry is always straight. We don't have a curved line. It's just exactly straight. And it could be labeled with a little letter at the end. And most often, though, it's labeled with two points. Because two points define a line. You might have the letters B and C. Really, any letters will work. And the way you could talk about it would be line L, or you could say B, C, and you want to draw a little line with little mini arrowheads on top of it. And that shows that we're draw talking about the line B, C, and not talking about the measurement of line B, C. Or you might say C, B. It doesn't matter which direction you start with. And a plane looks almost like a piece of paper. So imagine something like a piece of paper going forever, or like a floor going forever in, in every direction. And the way it's drawn, generally, is it looks like a, how you might draw a 3D piece of paper like that. Well, 2D, actually, not 3D. And the way it's defined is using three points, because three points kind of like fix it into place. Let's zoom in here a little. So let's name these points D, E, F. So you could say, and you might sometimes see a little letter in the corner. If you see a little little letter in the corner, it's kind of like the L with the line. It might be plain N. That's just a way to identify it. Or you can just list three points that are in that plane. So you might say plain D, E, F. It doesn't matter what order, order they're in. You might say plain E, F, D, or plain F E D. It doesn't matter as long as the three points, and there is one important thing, they're not all on the same line. So if, for some reason, there are three points all in a line, you couldn't use those to define the plane, because it's almost like the plane could turn a little bit. So you have to make sure the three points are not straight in a line. Okay, now speaking about points on a line, those are called collinear. And yes, it has two L's in the middle. Sometimes you'll see it spelled with one L. And there seems to be some discrepancies sometimes. So you might see it with one L or two Ls. This is essentially collinear or points that lie on the same line. And we can draw a quick little diagram of that. So these points are collinear, A and B. And then coplanar are points that lie in the same plane. And maybe we'll just talk about some of the ones in this little diagram. So you can see V and S, they all lie in the same plane. So they are coplanar. And then we're just going to practice for a second. So I want you to give two other names for PQ. So PQ, you can see it's got the little line on top. So PQ is this line right here. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell what it means, but it's showing that it is going through the plane. You can really tell that because of this little dotted line right here. You can see that that represents that it's behind the plane, and so it's not like sitting right on top of it. And you can see that this one is sitting right on top of it. So sometimes it's hard to see those little distinctions. Okay, so two other names for PQ. So we could just reverse the order and say QP. And then the other thing we can name it is N, because you can see that it's labeled with an N.
Okay, and then plain R. Two other names for plain R. So plain R is already labeled with the R, right? So we can't take that. However, we can use three points that are not in a line. So we could use these three points because they're all on the plane. We could say plain. It doesn't matter what order. I'll just say V, S, P. And there's lots of different options. Another three points. We could just do them in a different order, or we could use three other points, like V, T, S. They're also in, a, in the plane, so we could say V, T, S. Okay, on to the next. Now we're going to talk about some defined terms. So defined terms can be described using known words, such as point and line. And so our first definition, it says use AB and points A and B in the following definitions. So we're going to use this as kind of like something that we can refer to. Okay, and we're going to actually draw illustrations for the rest. So it says segment AB or BA consists of endpoints A and B and all points that are between A and B. So remember how we said a line has goes forever in each direction? A line segment is just a piece of that line, and it's defined with endpoints like that. And so you could say these are endpoints. And then notice it doesn't, once again, it doesn't matter if you say AB or BA. And notice that when you represent a segment, you don't put the little arrows on the end. Okay, and then ray AB consists of the endpoint A and all points on AB that lie on the same side. So let's draw a little picture to help us visualize that. So it's almost like an arrow just going in one direction. And they always have an endpoint. In order to be considered a ray, it has to have an endpoint. It sounds kind of funny because when you think of endpoint, you kind of think it's at the end. But it's really, it's almost like the starting point and then it goes off forever into a direction. It's just the spot where it does end in one case. I forgot to label this. This is a segment. And it includes, so the ray includes all the points that starting with A and going forever in whatever direction it's pointing. Okay, and there's a technical definition for something called opposite rays. And let's go ahead and draw the picture as we're talking about. So if point C lies on AB, so let's draw our AB. And then point C is in the middle. And it says then CA, ray CA, which is essentially right here, right? I'm going to highlight it. That's CA. And CB, I'm going to highlight that in green. You can see it's going the opposite direction, but they do share an endpoint. Then CA and CB are opposite rays. So they share an endpoint, and if you were to combine them together, they'd be a, a line, but they're not combined together. It's just CA and CB, and they're called opposite rays. Okay, now we're going to go through just a couple of exercises. So I want you to give another name for GH. So GH, you can just flip-flop them, right, and say HG instead. And then name all rays with endpoint J. So endpoint J, or even though it's called endpoint, it's almost like the starting point. You can see it goes off in this direction. So we could say ray JF. And make sure when you draw it, you start with, I don't know if I specified, you want to start with the endpoint as the first letter. And then we could also go the opposite direction. Go out like this, and we'd have JE. And we also have JH. And lastly, we have it's brown. JG. Okay, which of these rays are opposite rays? So the ones that form a complete line and share 
an endpoint. So that means the first two we listed are opposite rays. So JF and JE, as well as JH and JG. All right, that's it for today. Lots of definitions, and we'll do some more with those pretty soon. Talk to you later. Bye.